10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff. See the solid rocket booster jettison. Solid. Separation looks good. Vehicle has enabled closed loop Q alpha steering. RD-180 engine continues powering the Atlas Centaur into space. Next major milestone will be booster engine cutoff. Valve has been fired. That system is now pressurizing the flight level. Signatures look good. Current altitude, 40 miles, downrange distance, 75 miles, current velocity, 5,988 miles per hour. Range track looks good. About uh, one minute away from Atlas booster engine cutoff. The burn well, pump speeds, injector pressures within band. And we have Beco. Engine shutdown looks good. After and spacecraft separation, separation for the Centaur single RL-10C engine to ignite. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. The Centaur engine producing 22,900 pounds of thrust. Our body rates look very good. The steering has been enabled. Everything continuing on the timeline. Current altitude for Centaur is 101 miles. Range, downrange distance is 471 miles. Current velocity 12,589 miles per hour. We do have a report from the booster performance, and it is basically nominal. Centaur PU is currently on the box bridge stop. And we have separate successful separation. There you have it, the Titan I spacecraft with the three crew members, Shara Radiz, Bill Stead, and Bob Kiley is safely orbiting the Earth. Rendezvous and docking with the IRIS Orbital Lab is expected 27 hours from now at 7.05 p.m. Eastern on December 24, 2022. Thank you to Solar SFS for providing us with the spacecraft and astronauts to launch today. Subscribe to Solar SFS and subscribe to Oliver the Space Nerd. Thanks for watching.